sat here and just spent like 30 minutes trying every flavor. Just eating chocolate on this video. Just ate and ate. And then we should name it like a really important topic. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, have you been on Twitter lately? Yeah, Twitter is, um, yeah, <laughs> it's Twitter. There's a lot of drama there. There's always a lot of drama. I think, um... The most recent? The most recent was the cover controversy. Yes. And one author accusing another of stealing both title and cover, I believe. Yes. Yeah. It was uh, interesting. Yeah, my first thought on that is that, well, I had two thoughts. One was the 24-hour rule. Yes, that's a great rule. Yeah, and the second was use your agent. Yes, which is also, up, you know, first 24-hour rule, then use your agent. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, or, you know. You, you should can... explain what the 24-hour rule is. So, the 24-hour rule is something I use, I've i learned. In... We all use now. We all use, but I learned it in youth sports. And the idea is when you feel... Great emotion about something, yes. let's say. Happy or sad. <laughs> Anger, you know, you feel a need to go all in, give yourself 24 hours. Yes. So if you're going to complain about something or something makes you angry or you feel the need to react to something. Wait, 24 hours. 24 hours. In email, in Twitter, in text message, in person, like just wait. Just wait, mm -hmm. and and I think that, well, <coughs> I mean it's obvious. Your perspective shifts and is better when you give yourself time to process something. Yes. Yeah. So I think that um, in a case like this, for both parties, for the one who assumed something was stolen. As well as the one who felt attacked, attacked, waiting twenty four hours can make all the difference in how something is handled. Yes, I agree, and I think that it's especially as you're getting into like more professional relationships, it's yeah. important to just take the time so you're not burning any bridges or you're not when you're angry or you're upset, you're not seeing the compl I mean the no. the consequences of what you say to someone. No, so it's just important to just. Take a step back, and that 24 hours, sometimes you need more, but that 24 hours is a good... Would you stop kicking me? I noticed that you keep kicking me. <laughs> Sorry, I got another energy. Chocolate. I know. I'm hyper. Anyway, as you were saying. Yes, the 24 hours can make all the difference. Um, but also, using your agent. In this situation, or a situation like this, even just reaching out to your agent... If you're not, unless you're angry at your agent, yeah, then, then, 24, <laughs> then hours. twenty-four hours. But if it, if you're seeking advice or support before going on social media, sometimes, and especially because we all know how things can snowball on social media, um, and you know, and how quickly. Yeah, and and sometimes you don't you're unsure about how to handle a situation. Maybe somebody says something to you and you're like, I don't know what to do about this. I need to respond, but wait yeah. for 24 hours, but also reach out to your agent for help. Yes, agreed. Back to the cover situation on Twitter. I think had the author reached out to her agent first, she would have probably learned something that she maybe didn't yet know about the business. Yes. That would have helped diffuse the situation yeah, too. Yeah, that would have. Yes, exactly. Would have eased any sort of apprehension or yeah. anger because it's not how things work. Yes. Yes. Exactly. Exactly. So. Twenty four hours. Twenty four hours, and use your agent. And use your agent. That's all. That's our best two best tips. <laughs> two best. Those are pretty good tips. I feel really. They are good tips. Feel... We use them here all the time now. Yeah. Well. We don't use use your agent because we're other agents. <laughs> <laughs> but we use each other. True. Yes.